Welcome to LUTV News In Focus, where we feature interesting topics on campus, in the community, and in the world of culture. I'm Tracy Ramirez. Jasmine Reyes is the vice president for the largest student organization on campus, the Lamar University Hispanic Society. She is a founding member and devotes her time to the organization. Jasmine is a biology pre-med major and is a proud Puerto Rican a Mexican American. She's here to share insight on what, what LUHS is up to and how they plan on helping Hispanic students this semester. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? Good, so I wanted to ask you, when was the organization created? So we were founded in 2020 around the COVID, uh, COVID year. year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and we really developed it out of this realization that there wasn't really a space on campus for Hispanic students to feel like there was a sense of community for them. Yeah. And what has the mission been for LUHS? So um, since its beginning, we have been focused on trying to help create that sense of community, mm -hmm. celebrate our Hispanic cultures on campus, um, and help with professional development and networking within the Hispanic community. And can you tell me a little bit about the LU Hispanic graduations that y'all put on? So those started since our founding semester, I believe. And uh, when we started doing that, it was to honor the efforts that have been contributed by our other Hispanic students that have you know, gone through their education here at Lamar. Yeah. Really honor that. Um, celebrate that and also show the other students on campus and then in the community that hey we have these Hispanic students here at Lamar and they're yeah. doing great things and they're going on to do even greater things. I find it amazing that y'all do it a little bit different than a regular graduation. Y'all mention like interesting facts about them, their major, what are their aspirations after graduation. Whose idea was that? Um, a lot of that came from Dr. Flores, our um, Dean of Students. Yes, our Dean of Students. <laughs> and uh, he's one of our faculty advisors. Yes. And um, how is LUHS helping students grow professionally? Professionally, uh, we do a lot of professional development workshops. This semester, we have one of those actually coming up. We're going to mm. work on resumes and interviews. That is when? And that will be September. I'm sorry, not September. <laughs> it's going to be February 21st. February 21st. Okay. Yes. How important is it to have an organization like this on campus considering Lamar will soon be considered a Hispanic serving institution? I think it's it's huge. Um, I know when we first started we definitely had a large Hispanic population but it mm -hmm. wasn't really very obvious mm -hmm. that that his, you know that community that was there. Yeah. Um, and so when we formed the organization, that really came to light, how many students were here. Yeah. And after forming it, our numbers of Hispanic students, of course, continued to grow. Uh, we were, I think, a very pivotal point in helping the, the campus yeah. reach the numbers that it has as far as uh, Hispanic students. Because I know we're also pretty active in a lot of the preview days. Mm -hmm. and when parents come and, and students come and they see that we have an organization that helps to create a community for them, mm -hmm. they feel so much more welcomed and like they will have a place that they belong when they come to Lamar. Can you tell me quickly what events do you have this month? So this month, we're in February, so we have some uh, Valentine's Day things. We have mm -hmm. a Valentine's Day fundraiser where we, where we will be selling chamoy. Mm -hmm. That'll be on Valentine's Day. Um, we also have our professional development workshop, which yeah. is going to be on the 21st. Okay. And we also have a our first general meeting, which will be um, come in, learn a little bit about some of the other events that we'll have a mm -hmm. little bit further on in the semester. And then also we'll be doing a Carnival slash Mardi, Mardi Gras, Gras themed activity. Thank you for watching LUTV News in Focus. To see more content from LUTV News, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.